factory. They'll have a big furnace full of glass, and they'll then just have these two giant steel rollers that they'll run it through, just like running like offset through a tungsten machine or pastry dough. So you guys know the first window. leather blacksmithing classes. I think those have the most amount of students. We have a lot of beginning classes. They're structured so someone who has never swung a hammer before, never done anything with their hands before, can come in and just start doing that. There's also taster classes too. If you're not quite sure what you want to try out, there's classes where you can come either for three hours or they have living social wheels where it's like three classes in a day, which is a lot, but it's like two hour classes so you can try a bunch of different things. The crucible gives people other alternatives to art because I can't draw so I can't draw I can't paint I can't sculpt so it's kind of like if I wanted to be an artist I was kind of limited to those until I found the food school. There's classes here that you won't get a chance to try anywhere else like there's not too many places where you can do stone carving you can cast your own bronzes here and there's not too many places where you can go and actually pour the bronze. We have kids as young as 12 we have um, people in their 70s who could come in and, and use a smithy, so there is a wide demographic. And over half our, our students are female. I think over half our teachers are female as well. Um, so we get, you know, we're industrial arts. A lot of people think welding, blacksmithing, woodworking is, is male dominated, but in, at the principal it's not. Like if you went to a city not as popular as Oakland, you might not have the amount of diversity with kids coming in. Even though it's located in Oakland, we have students coming in from Bar from San Rafael or San Francisco or Menlo Park. The parents who come in, they're the main ones like, can I take a tour? Can I show my kids around? Like they, they're the ones who really want their kids to get into it. Kids don't have much of a surprise factor, but they come out with some of the greatest pieces of artwork I've ever seen. Um, but they're also calmer about it, whereas the adults, they come in and they're like, I didn't even know you can make stuff like this. I'm taking class. It's a lot of fun. It really is. 